Yeah, I've got a gaining pull there. Oh heavens, we have three people. Gamer. Oh heavens, there are a ton of people. What's up, really, Chris? This is a bad boat. So, unbeknownst to me, there's actually a fishing tournament going on today. Um, will we catch anything? I don't know. Everybody's bass fishing. We're attempting to striper fish, but um, we'll just see. Like the stash, thank you, Chris. Brian loves all my videos. All of them, Brian? Thank you. Oh, this thing's falling apart. Hey, Carlos says Ace is way better. Potato, potato, Carlos. That earns you a 300 second timeout. Oh, hey, we got a donation, dude. We're not even two minutes in. And Mojo Wish TTV donates $20. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Much appreciated. Always. How long is the stash staying? Good question. I'll probably have to answer this several times during the live stream. Uh, honestly, guys, probably only a couple more weeks. I'll be honest. The stash... Not my wife's favorite, and that's fair. Uh, two things that bug me about the stash. Number one, they're not what you think. When I sleep, the stash all like like pokes up into my face, especially when I've got like my face in the pillow and stuff. Really uncomfortable. Uh, number one. Number two, um, whenever you're like go to blow your nose, so I have allergies and stuff. Not all season, but like this time of year, allergies definitely. Um, you have to like clean your beard out. Like, you have to really, like, like you, you don't just blow your nose. Then you have to, like, try to, like, clean all, like, the snot out of your stash. It's just kind of nasty. Kind of nasty. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, gosh. What is this? So, definitely not a fan of that either. Um, so, probably a couple more weeks. Honestly, a live stream today. Probably, like, a video next week. And then it's probably gone. So, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy now. Because... It's not gonna be around forever. Stash mica is a fleeting thing. It's kind of like toothless mica, you know? It's just here just briefly. And, um, well, toothless mica was here for like half a year. But that was, I couldn't help that. So, you know. Right now we've got some live herring out. Um, and we're just trolling around a little bit. The problem is, or what I've found out apparently the problem is, is, um, we had a full moon the other night. I have, I wasn't paying attention, y'all. Heidi donates twenty dollars. Heidi's a regular on the channel. Heidi, thank you, thank you for your donation. Heidi turned me on to that kicking chicken seasoning. That stuff is ridiculous on fish. If you haven't tried that, do do yourself a favor and get on that action. Um, but uh, uh, we, what was I talking about? The stash. Um. Oh, the full moon. I wasn't paying attention. Apparently, the full moon is just totally... This lake, Lake Murray, South Carolina, was fire like the last two weeks. Well, apparently, like the last two days isn't like... So, and it's because of the full moon. So, of course, then I come out I'm like, hey, everybody, let's go live. Totally missed the window. Really, at the end of the day is what it's all about. Missed the bite window. We'll find out today. Maybe not. Tisha Keto next $20 throws up the finger of high adventure. Tisha also a regular. Tisha has been here for a long time. Tisha, thank you so much. Doing phenomenal. Hope you are doing well as well, Lady O. And um Yeah, all good thing. Stash, I know yeah, sprinkle a little stash lock on it. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I've got three dozen live herring. What we're gonna do is I really haven't seen a lot 
of fish. I'll be downright honest with you on my graph. And I've looked at two places before we started this live stream. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to troll with these a little bit because they're live. And, I, you know, I've got them live. It's a little bit more expensive when they're live. But if this ain't working, we're probably going to go anchor up and throw like four lines out or something like that. Try the bottom. See if the, see if the striper are moving along the bottom. Give it a go. And we'll see. Yeah, it might get rained out. I don't know. There was like a 30% chance this afternoon, which probably means like a 100% chance over me. Um, I mean, the clouds look a little eh, but it's not eh, at least yet. So it was only for like an hour or two this afternoon. There was like a 30% chance. So in fact, we're in the middle of it right now. So if we have to shut the live stream down briefly, I will. But then I'll probably restart it as always. Um, if uh, if the, my app, for whatever reason, YouTube is like doesn't like it when you live stream longer than like an hour and a half. Um, the app, I almost guarantee you, will crash at some point today. I'll just restart the live stream. So I just spilled that drink all over myself. Like I, I didn't even hit my lips before it, like. My loins are soaked in Rockstar now. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. I feel like that's kind of a bad omen, but we'll deal. We're out here now. Nothing you can do. We're on Lake Murray. There's an MLF tournament going on right now. That's the other thing. Picked a heck of a day to be out here. Right smack dab in the middle of a tournament. What are you doing? Oh, here comes the rain. It literally just started sprinkling. We'll see how hard it gets. And uh, go from there. I mean, it's not the cloud. Yeah, like, we'll see. If anything, we can pause and then let the let the clouds go by and then restart it up, like, say, in an hour or something like that. Nice thing about this time of year is... You know, we have that, uh, the, it stays lighter later because of the time change, so. Stash is clean. It's a bass tournament, so it's an MLF bass tournament. But um, apparently, so uh, I was talking, I've met a couple subscribers out here. They were in a boat, a couple of guys, and they, um, they said they were catching stripers on uh, like flukes and stuff off of points as well because the herring are spawning. Um, so they're all up in the shallows. So we'll see. I just haven't seen, you know, when you're looking for striper, like you check your sonar, you're looking for balls of bait and stuff. So I haven't seen that. I've been to three different spots and I just haven't really uh, seen what I was hoping to see, if you will. So, nah, dude, water temperature 75 degrees, dude. 75 degrees already. Like, I feel like in South Carolina, in fact, I was talking with my bait guy, um, Ethan, he was like, we're like, we're way ahead as far as the fishing schedule goes right now. Like, we're way ahead. So, and I, I, I believe that. It feels like, um, yeah, I mean, it feels like it should be like middle of May right now. So. Make your bullfrog catch a cook. Dude, we're about that time of year, man. We've had really weird weather. We've had like really warm February, cooled off for March. It's warming up now. But then like this weekend, guys, in two days, it's going to be like high of 50 here. It's like 79 today. And it's going to be 50 in two days. I mean, a nasty, rainy weather all weekend, like high of 50 and then 54. Um, so that's what I've been dealing with. But I need that consistent warm weather to get after the bullfrogs, dude. But hopefully, like, maybe middle end of this month, I'll go out and try to gig some frog. So stay tuned. Snake catch cook snakes as well. Turtles. I've got them all. So you know what I'm saying? I think the last two years, I've caught both my snakes and my turtles in May, which probably if we're ahead of schedule means, like, this month. So... Dude, I haven't really hunted the wild pickles yet. I do have to get up to Lake Hartwell. I agree there. Uh, but I have, not, I have not hunted down the wild pickle, I'll be honest with you. Uh, call it lazy. Call it... Um, call it lazy, really, is all it is. So, hello from 
Germany. The motherland. Here's the rain. The purple rain. This might last like five minutes. And Austria. Can't wait till summer, I agree. Um, we might catch a cook today. Depends on when I catch fish, really. That's a clean boat right there. That's a $200,000 boat in the Maybe not 200000 I'll bet that's like a $125,000 boat, though. What's a good boat name? Oh, dude, so I had a great boat name. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Great boat name that I kind of missed out on, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, the Jig and Minnow. Isn't that great? The Jig and Minnow. That's a great boat name. But not the, don't put the in there. Just put jig and apostrophe minnow. Jig and minnow. That's a great boat name. I kind of, I almost wish I named this boat that, but alas and a lad, fickle fate intervened and we named it the SS High Adventure. Jig and minnows, there you go. Jig and minnows is good too. I wonder if these fish, I wonder if these fish gonna be a little more lazy. I'm wondering if maybe some cut bait on the bottom would be our best bet. That's what I'm thinking, thinking. I just, I haven't seen the schools of striper, which is odd. That's really odd for 75 degree temperature, water temp. I'm wondering if those fish are cruising along the bottom. Sup from Georgia? I think the Masters is like getting, they're getting like, buckets of rain down there for the masters i don't watch golf i just know the masters is on a tradition unlike any other what's up mona cooper got a mod in the house trying to keep trying to keep up with everybody who's joining here munching on the wild pickle dude you made that sound real dirty way to go i am guac <coughs> Donated $5 and said, can we all agree we miss OG crazy sunglasses? Can we get a shoo? Shoo. Dude, I, I actually, I sat on my last pair of uh, steampunk sunglasses. So there goes $17. I got to order some more, much to my wife's chagrin. I do have to order some more, though. I do like those sunglasses. These are, these are like those Costa or Costa, Costa, whatever. My bro got it for me. They're really expensive sunglasses. He got it for me for my birthday, and they're really nice. I'm just super nervous, man, because me and sunglasses, I just have a really bad history with sunglasses. Of course, it might be because I buy cheap sunglasses. Uh, that's definitely a possibility, but I'm trying to keep these ones nice. The steampunk sunglasses go. Perfect with the stash. Well, there you go. I got to get down to the coast, dude. They're catching, like, um, they're catching everything. They're catching redfish, trout, and flounder right now. So, um, I got to get on that action. We're going to get on that action next week. After the after the cold front, give it a couple days to warm up. We're going to get down there, see what we can make happen. Decide which way these clouds are moving. Hello from Myrtle Beach. Eighty in Pennsylvania today. That is gorgeous weather. No lie. No lies detected. What's up, Mr. Stash? Just living the dream. New video out today. I'm going to publish, if all goes well, um, but I'm going to be publishing on my second channel, update on the bees. So we still have a colony. 
hooray. We've made it through like the first two weeks. So, all, uh, oh, there's a bite on that one. Something just hit that, that, uh, that herring. Come on, rain. Come on, rain. I have to check that bait. It wasn't a big hit, but it was definitely something popped it. Something popped it. There's a pop. Something popped it again. Come on. Eat it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yelling at the fish probably isn't helping. Maybe I need to be like banging the boat. That's probably really loud on my live stream. Cut that out. Oh, there's that fish. Yeah, something came up from the bottom to look at it. You know, that's interesting. Something came up from the bottom. I was looking, see, I saw marks on the bottom. Now I can see the mark heading back down to the bottom. I think these fish are cruising on the bottom right now. I don't know why. It just feels right. You know what I'm saying? It just feels, my instincts, my gut tells me these fish are cruising along the bottom. They've been feeding during the full moon. They're fat and they're going down to the bottom. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's what we're going with. I am Guac donates another two dollars. Is willing to donate the next cool, oh, for the next cool sunglasses. Well, Guac, then I will get me a pair and we'll have some steampunk sunglasses if they get here in time uh, for next week's video. How about that? We'll go steampunk and stash. How about we do like a camp? Should we camp down at the coast? I'm talking boat tent camping. We boat tent camp at the coast next week. Throw out some crab pots. Catch, try to catch some sharks at night. Go for the flounder and the trout and the uh, redfish during the day. What do you guys think? That sounds like that sounds like a fun time to me. No lie. Need more shark catch cooks? I've noticed people are starting to catch more sharks um, down at the coast now. So the sharks are moving back in. So it's probably going to happen. You'll probably get your wish. Because we've got them all. Forage a wild pickle for a nickel. Keep banging the floor. What is your go-to bait for crappy in the spring? I don't have one, dude. I'll be honest with you. I haven't done enough fishing where it's like, oh, that's exactly what I throw. Uh, I did really well on curly tails this year. Little paddle tails I've done well on on the past, so I'd say curly or paddle tails. Do like a June bug or something with sartreuse in it. That's probably like my best advice. For a nickel, we're in a pickle. What are your plans for the upcoming summer? I don't know, dude. I don't have, I mean, Go down to the coast, catch a lot of crabs, shrimp. Um, I got some, we're gonna take some family vacays down to the coast this year, excited for that. Um, I really wanna hit the coast more. I wanna do some like shark fishing this year. Last year I kinda waited till about September to go to the coast, not this year. Michael Hennessy donates two dollars, says someone's commenting with your name. Uh, oh yeah, oh, thank you for the donation. Um, High Adventure Vids, that's really close. That's really close. Um, it's technically not my name, but uh, YouTube will alert me if somebody tries to, uh, uh, yeah, if somebody tries to use my stuff, then YouTube will actually, there are no like strikes for that. YouTube will just take the account down. Like there, there are no like warnings. If you copyright somebody else's stuff, YouTube will just, will, will ju you'll just one day be like, sorry, you've been banned. Or, yeah, like a, it's basically like a ban. They, they take the whole account down. There are no warnings for that. No warnings for uh, for copy copyright when you're trying to impersonate somebody else. So a TikTok's the same way. I had somebody get a hold of me. They're like, somebody's using your, your videos on TikTok. So I actually got a hold of TikTok. I was like, that's my stuff. They don't have my permission. And they took the whole thing down. So, um, yeah. And there are a lot of like... Uh, like Middle Eastern or uh, Indian countries, people will do that. Like, like, uh, uh, and they'll just, they'll do it for as long as they can to try to make money. They'll, they'll copy and paste basically pieces of people's videos out and uh, for the hits and the views. 
Till finally somebody catches them and then they get busted for it, so. Yeah, dude, we need to do a collaboration with Ace. In fact, I tried to get Ace to go with us to um, Joe Cassie. If you haven't seen it, there's a new video out. Um, uh, but he was like, dude, I haven't done my taxes yet. I was like, well, you should probably do that. It's like, I just, they just got back from Hawaii. He's like, I got to do my taxes. It's like, I'm in the middle of so much stuff. And I was like, well, that's a flimsy excuse. No, he had a bunch of stuff to do. So he was like, I can't go on this one. That was okay. We'll do it again, I'm sure. Or we'll go down to the coast or something like that. Yeah, taxes are important. They'll bust you for that. The, the government doesn't like that when you're late on that. So, you probably should get that done. Uh, what, what pound test line do I use? Honestly, dude, I had to up my game. I was using 12 pound. I've upgraded to 15, like minimum 15 pound test line now. Um when I'm fishing, when I'm fishing for like sheep's head and stuff like that, minimum, because oftentimes I will hit like a black drum or a red drum or a spot tail, whatever you want to call it. Oh. So I do minimum 15 pound test line. Uh, when I'm fishing from the beach though, like that's something that I have to upgrade. I've got to do like, I'm going to start doing braid from the beach just because I typically won't have to worry about like rocks and stuff like that with the braid. I'm going to probably end up doing like Especially with shark fishing, doing like 60 pound braid or something like that. I'm going to probably go pretty, pretty heavy duty. Um, so I missed a donation from, I am walking on this time to donate a $20. It says, can't wait to see some cool shades. Fun fact, you can get sunburn on your eyes from bright snow, by the way. It sucks. Holy cow, that sounds bloody miserable. Sounds like you know from personal experience. First off, thank you for the donation. And that would, that'd ruin your day right there, dude. Ugh. Yeesh. Sunburn on the eyeballs. I've heard the worst sunburn that you could get is a sunburn on the bottom of your feet. I've heard that is like, she. So, I don't know. Never had that happen personally. Oh, I'm, I'm getting snagged on here. Hold up. One second. I got a bite on him. Let me double check the bait. No, he's on there still. Yeah, that's a snag right there. We're in shallow water. Here's what we're going to do, guys. I just saw another boat pull up. They were here longer than I was. Oh, I think I missed a donation. That is from Jared Kozenski. Kozenski. Thanks. Thanks, Jared. I appreciate the donation. Here's what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to pull up and we're going to go anchor up. I think these fish are moving along the shallows. Um, they're moving along the bottom. And uh, I just saw another boat that was drifting as well. They just pulled up and left. And when the boats are on the move, that means they're not catching anything. So we're not going to waste any more time here. Let's go find, uh, maybe we'll have about, maybe about a seven minute run. And then we'll hit Jason Godfrey donates ten dollars. Says I'm working, but had to check in on you, bro. Hit a pin I sent you yet? You hit that pin I sent you yet, Jason? Dude, I haven't yet. No, I'm sorry, but thank you for the donation. I have not hit the pin. Um, so let's go make a run. We'll anchor up, and uh, yeah, we're hitting the bottom over here, and then we'll throw it down. I'll let you say. This way too, when we anchor up, I can throw like four lines out. I think we have a chance for some catfish too. That'd be kind of fun. Set this here for now. All right, y'all, we're gonna go on a ride. Hang on. Mistakes.
still with me? Good. Almost there. I just got to go around the corner. boats here which I guess is a good sign but try to find a spot between everybody Actually, every, I thought there were other people fishing, but they're all bass boats, so we're good. We're just gonna park right between everybody. Now, we have a little more class. Maybe, maybe we do. Not sure if we do. There we go. Why are you guys all off here? Something's so off. Uh, oh, there we go. Now we have arrived, 100%. Sorry about that. 
Sometimes you gotta go on a run. Sometimes you have the runs. That's not the same thing, but you know. Spot lock it up. Alright. Hey, I see a bait ball actually. What do you know? Oh, did I miss a donation? I think I did. Dude, I did. Panther0816 says, good luck and donate to $10. Thank you. All right, let's get these lines up. Time to get some lines out. Got the troll motor spot locked up. Nice yeah. of our dead Harry here. A couple of dead ones, with butterfly map. Oh, hey, uh, uh, that's another donation. Holy cow. David Dale says, is it Dow? I'm going Dale. I'm going to go Dow. No, D-A-H-L, David Dow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Dow. Love the videos, but can't wait to see some more coast vids. Maybe camp on the boat overnight on the coast. David, where were you like 10 minutes ago? That's exactly what I was talking about doing next week. Thank you for the donation. Um... Oh, Jared, there's a butterfly herring. Okay, we gotta, we gotta scroll back up. We gotta find Jared. Jared! Oh, God, where did you go? Oh, there's Jared. Jared says, when, uh, when do more survival challenge catch and cooks for 72 hours? Holy cow, Jared, you want three days? Golly! Oh, no, I, it'll happen. It'll happen. First thing I'm noticing, I'm marking some more fish, so that's good. Thanks, Tash. Tash, nice to see you. But I am marking more fish here. So let's see if those are striper. Not to be confused with stripper. Somebody, somebody on one of the Facebook groups this morning was like, where are the strippers at? And what, like, how do I find them? And so of course, all the fishermen had a heyday with that in the, on the Facebook page. <laughs> Said like every joke that you've ever, ever heard. Like, okay guys, we get it. He misspelled it. Right, guys keep an eye on that i'm gonna put two over on this side so you guys can watch them this one will go on the other side first though oh wait I'll put that we got it i can't believe how warm this the water temperature is 75 already get it great first of april i would say this month this lake is definitely like four to five weeks ahead of of schedule like and I've only lived here for two years, a little over two years, but like, I don't remember coming out here and hunting. I mean, this time last year, y'all, we were up at like Big Man's and that's like, I don't know, 
maybe like eight miles that way, like up in one of the creeks. You're definitely not up here. That's for sure. Or I should say down here, like mid lake. There were guys actually even, there are fish at the dam already. So I'm going to keep a close eye on that for some night dam fishing. That'd be fun. But we might be doing that, guys, in just like a few weeks. Like, it might not even be that long. So I'm going to keep uh, keep up with Ethan, have him kind of keep me abreast of everything that's going on. And if he's like, dude, do catch him at the dam, then we'll do a live stream there at night. So show. way in time because all the bass boats are screaming by. This should only go on for maybe about five more minutes or so, five, ten minutes, and then, oh yeah, everybody's screaming towards the launch. That's good. Get some of the uh, traffic down on the lake. Giveaway. I got an extra one. We gotta rig this one up real quick. We got two rods in. Here come the bass boats. We gotta get mowed down. Not in the greatest spot, but once they're done running in, we'll be fine. Slightly faster than mine, just barely. Let's put it this way they're going faster than 19 miles an hour. Allegedly. like one of those Instagram videos. 
I can't believe all these bass fishermen cut me off. It's like you're sitting in the middle of the channel. Uh, yeah, that's fair. You won't believe what happened. Like some really exasperated title. Can you find my merch? Bro, it's below. It's right below my channel. It's right below all my videos, like right before the description and all my videos. Like a little line of it. You click on it and there are all kinds of options in the store for merch. If you so wish to purchase a merch. Kid you not. That's the boat came flying around the corner. Shoot. Yeah, they're all racing to get back. There's a couple more coming, but it's slowing down now. So things should settle down a bit. Hopefully. Motors, like, what are all these people doing? Hey. You guys are on a tripod, so I gotta like hang on to you. Just make sure nothing jumpy happens. I thought it was almost over, but apparently, here comes like the last of the.
All right. We've got three lines out. We'll figure out what the heck's going on. If anything, go from there. Another spot actually in uh, two videos ago where I found that um, where I found that fishing rod and reel combo that spots just like half a mile up like a, a minute boat ride up you can run up there which we might do now, there's some good topography it's kind of off a point um, might try something like that we'll give this probably like 30 minutes with three rods out we'll know quickly if there's anything here um, and uh, yeah basically just go from there you know where that line is We're right in the middle of a island right here it narrows We're right in the middle of it so we should figure out if, uh, if the fish are here with three rods out. Now we wait. Oh, and we missed a donation. Five dollars from Cody Bogus says, "Hey, bud, talk to you from Hanover, Hanover, Pennsylvania. I was out fishing today and caught two 28-inch channel cats and a 40-inch flathead catfish off a live bluegill and worms. Nice, man. Sounds like a good day. Sounds like a good day indeed. We'll see what we can do. For those just joining." Um, uh, the full moon was last night and apparently that threw the fishing or the night before maybe it's the last two nights anyway maybe two nights ago something like that I don't keep up with the lunarness you know um, but it was recently and apparently it's kind of throwing the striper fishing off so we'll see what we can do we'll see what we can do maybe that was the last best but I don't know Dude, that was crazy. That was crazy finding that fish and rod and Only thing that would have made that cool if that fish was alive. Just any kind of alive fish. That would be pretty epic. I don't think all these boats know. Uh, um, they're all going. Uh, there are two entryways into the um, the tournament. Um, well, maybe that guy's actually fishing. I don't know. But uh, everybody's going all the way around the island to get to the other takeout spot. Well, you could cut through. It's just a no wake, which I'm pretty sure is faster. You could just cut through, like, right over there where you take out. But I can tell that, like, there are some bass fishermen that haven't figured that out. So they're, like, running all the way around the island. They're adding, like, five minutes, six minutes onto their trip that they don't need to. But what do I know? I'm out here in a tiller handle boat. Am I qualified to give fishing advice to somebody in a hundred thousand dollar bass boat? Probably not. So we just keep our mouth shut and we let them run, baby. Let them do them. 
There was a bass boat just went around the corner over there. They were, he was honking at the other guy because the other guy was coming around the corner too. Like, well, y'all were both screaming around there like 60 miles an hour. I'm going to witness a death here. Pretty positive. Cheaper boats. I have way more fun in this boat than in a bass boat, guarantee you. Because I get to do more in this boat. I get to do more. I get to catfish, crappy fish, take it down to the coast, go back at all the little creeks, catch crabs, take it out onto the sound and catch shrimp. Get to uh, take it up into the stumpy fields of the Santee Cooper, catch catfish and shell cracker. Bass boats, you can catch bass. That's a striper. I'm sure you can do a little crappy fishing in it as well. But um, it's got to all be open water. It's a meetup going on over here. I want to know what's going on. Good morning from Japan. Well, Japan's checking in. Oh, that guy said he caught a 5.7 and a 5.8. I heard it. Heard it clear as day. Your boat goes 71. My boat, uh, my boat doesn't go 71. That's okay. Watch every video? Well, thanks, man. Your boat's a bass boat? Well, it better go 71 if it's a bass boat, yo. My boat's not really built for speed or comfort. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty comfortable to me. It's not comfortable like a pontoon. It's not speedy like a bass boat. My boat is built to get beat up. That's what my boat... My boat's built to get stuck on a sandbar, like what we did at Watery, like, like in February. But nothing tore up. My boat built for the backwaters. When will you do be when will you be doing another watery video? Dude, probably pretty soon, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was thinking about that. Like this April, I need to get down to the Santee Cooper and hunt some shell cracker. A big old brim. Um, I'm getting down to the coast this April as well. I've got my in-laws coming into town for like three weeks. So, I mean I'm still gonna film, but it might just be more like day videos. Um so but I, I need to get down to the Santee Cooper, fish Sparkleberry Swamp, and uh, water's low at Watery. Yeah, man, it is. But I do need to get back to Watery, do like a 24-hour catfish video. Just load up with bait and just like 24 hours nonstop catfishing. We could camp there, actually. Do a little, little tent camping again like we did last time. That'd be fun. I need to go to Watery. I think there's some pretty good backwaters around there. I'll bet you there's some good frog hunting at Watery. I need to go explore that. Actually, if I do like a 24 hours over there, I need to bring my gig and pole and check out and and bring the rods up about nine o'clock to go go look around, see if I can't find some some frog. I'm gonna get seasick out here. That's right, Matthew. There is a new video on my channel today. And, uh, yeah. New video and a live stream. Does it get much better? I could test no. Hoping to do some late night catfish in the next few days. Sounds legitimate. I want to know what these two bass boats are doing over here. 
I don't know, but it seems kind of odd. They're both like met up over here and they're hanging out. I don't know. Not saying something shady's going down, but also not not saying something shady's going down. Like one guy pulled in and like two minutes later, this guy came and pulled in. The ramp's around the corner. Your guess is as good as mine. Swapping fish? I don't know. I think MLF. Don't they just weigh them and throw them back in the water? I think ML because it's an MLF tournament. Don't they just weigh it and then toss them back in? Somebody confirm or deny that. I thought that's what's a new thing. You don't actually have weigh-ins. Well, you make intro music. I don't do a whole lot of intro music, man. I'll be honest with you. Uh, because it's just like... Um, telling big stories. Because um, I kind of try to get like right into the video. Making a cocaine deal? I, I think that's as good a possibility as any. All in favor of the bass fishermen dealing drugs, raise your hand. Unless somebody has a better idea than what you think they're doing. What intro music do you hate, Robert? Because I don't have intro music. Not sure what you're talking about. Probably talking fishing strategy. That's not fun. I kind of prefer the whole dealing thing. I like that. Let's go with that. Oh, they're leaving now. Now, do they follow each other? Or do they go their separate ways? That will tell us a lot. Oh, they have refs on the boat. Now, these guys might not be associated with them, though, because there was only one guy in each boat. Unless there's something super shady going. Maybe they're, like, judges. Or whatever. I don't know. Ah, they're both going the same way. Probably nothing shady. One guy's taking off. Well, they're not taking off together. Hmm. Oh, now the other guy's. Now the other guy's still not going. No. I think all MLF tournaments are televised, aren't they? I think it's like a live thing. What's up, Lance? Shooter, you're really proud of your boat, aren't you? That's fair. Just seen you mentioned it about eight or nine times. Oh, the guys are the fancy producers, the music ain't good. Okay. Might see myself on TV. Might if I watched MLF fishing. I don't though. Sad day in Bethlehem. Uh, I'm gonna recurl the stash. Yo, Michael, when you going back shrimping? Dude, tripping season doesn't open until like middle of September. So, middle of September, I'll be out there. I'll be out there, bruh. I'll be throwing it down. I'm going to go like three or four times, I guarantee you. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to load the freezer this time. I underestimated how much shrimp I will eat. Um, it's a lot. I eat a lot of shrimp. Um, so, I'm going to load up the freezer. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, fish. Mad so you can shrimp just not with bait poles. That's true. You can go shrimping, you just can't use the yeah, the baiting season's not in right now. Is that any good? Is it any good shrimping like like beforehand? I mean, do, can you uh can you like drag nets before bait shrimping? I don't know. I've got a And 
surprised we haven't gotten a bite yet. How about a video going shell cracking bluegill crickets? I'll do it. Let's do it. Excited, um, it got me all excited seeing people fishing at the dam again. I was just like, we thrive on the live streams at the dam. Those are just, ooh, man, the live stream at the dam is just fun. It's a good time. Yeah. It's about 10 more minutes. Fishing with crickets challenge. I like it. About 10 more minutes. I'm going to pull up, go to another point up here. See what we can do. like Lake Murray. By golly, it does, doesn't it? Shucks. It does kind of. Kingston and Santa Ria? I'm guessing that was where the names. It flew by fast. Howdy to your children. I, uh, it's that time of year you gotta start bringing a bunch of water with you. Where are the jarritos? You know, I don't have any jarritos this trip. No jarritos this trip, but um, the jarritos will always be with us here in the form of our room. kind of difficult right now because all the, the striper are just like everywhere they're just everywhere they're not in like they're not like concentrated at like one end of the lake or the other it's like they're just spread out Nathan Nathan where have you been like the last six months bro my baby's been here for over four months man what have you been doing and don't give me an excuse for not watching my channel no, the baby's here. Happy, healthy. Uh, I can't read that. Yeah. Vera Videos donates five dollars. Says live stream number three, asking you to come collabski on some salabski on Louisiana, so you could tip me back one day. Ooh, in Louisiana. In Louisiana. This sound kind of fun. Thank you for the donation, but that does sound. You had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. This sound fun, actually. I gotta do more collabs. Do I? I don't know. Collaborations sound great, but there's just so much that goes into a collaboration. It can be difficult. I probably should, though. That way you guys aren't watching my fat face all the time. Come up to Lake Wiley. Foot of snow. Why would you choose to live in Minnesota? That See, there's your first mistake number one. Poor life choice number one. You're living in Minnesota. Sorry, I don't mean to dump on your state. Not like the snow, but uh, I don't get it, man. I just, of all the gorgeous places to live. I mean, I understand. Some people like the snow and the cold. I don't understand it, but some people do. So you gotta respect it. People can't stand my mama. She can't stand the heat down here in South Carolina. Uh, she's like, ugh. 
It was way too hot in the summertime. Even my brother Ace, actually Ace doesn't like the heat down here either. I love it, man. I love it. In fact, oh, oh, well, I'll ask you guys after we catch a fish. I have a favor to ask, but I feel like I need to give something to get something here. So let's pull a piggy in and then I'll ask here. Without cold and snow, people couldn't go ice fishing. You have a point. You have a point. Can't I can't argue against that. And I've got two buddies, Tyler and Birch. They love ice fishing, man. They live for that. Which is fine. I, I enjoy ice fishing, but I'd rather go coastal fishing all day. But there are some people that don't like the beach. They don't like the coast. They don't like tropical. Those people are weird, but whatever. Takes all kinds, you know? One day our entire planet will be a complete ice block. That's interesting. All right, then. I mean, that's cool. I am not close to Charleston area. Uh, my mom doesn't really fish, no. Uh, what's up from South Africa? I don't have a favorite fish to eat. I have hankerings like everybody else. Sometimes I like a good catfish fry. Sometimes I like, uh, you know, striper, crappy. Always down for a good redfish. We're just about ready to move. I've had three lines out in this channel and I've got these cheeks. About ready to make a move. I have never been to the Great Lakes, no. Forty-eight hour challenge using only one item. I'm gonna use probably the Zaxby's app then. That's gonna wanna be that's like the only thing I use. Get Grubhub for 48 hours. And the challenge will be where they deliver it. Like, oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah, man. Just make sure they're catching quality fish out there. In the old Minnesota. Stash Master Classic. I'd qualify 100% in a running for top spot. Are you kidding me? Don't kid me. You ever plan on doing any videos in the Santee Cooper? Dude, I was in the Santee Cooper last year, bro. Of course. I'll get back. In fact, the shell cracker should be moving up and spawning this month. It should be a good month for it. You should do a what? Oh, a, a challenge using only one bait. You seem tipsy. Okay. Wait, hold up. Let me check this rock star and make sure there's, it's not caffeine. Not seeing any alcohol content on this, bro. Oh, it's got B vitamins. Maybe that's where it's coming from. Maybe I'm just really chill. I don't know. How's Ace doing? Ace doing pretty good. All these clouds around and I can't tell if the, uh, I can't tell if it's gonna rain or not. I could tell you right now though, should have had something by now I feel like. Some way to move.
Uh, Ace and I don't really live near each other. We're like a state away. So it's like a three and a half hour drive to go see him. We, uh, yeah, dude, getting the, uh, getting the ticket for the two pole permit. We, uh, that was fun. That was terrible, but that was awesome. That was a good time. It's raining in Charlotte. Greetings from Germany. What other content creators do you watch? I don't really watch anybody else. I'll be down right honest with you. I don't have time, man. I've got three kids and a wife, and I do it full time. Um, I I don't have time to like watch other YouTubers really. Um, we uh, I used to do landscaping and real estate. Actually, those are my two things. before I did that. I did that while I was getting my YouTube channel up and running. Somebody asked just a while back. I forget this time of year. See, from like November, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, five months. So five months out of the year, the pleasure boaters are gone and like at least half the fishermen aren't out here. So I get used to like coming out here and you have like the lake to yourself, basic, basically. And so this time of year, like, I'm seeing jet skiers. I'm seeing a lot more fishermen. And I'm like, Ugh, what's everybody doing out here? Shall I be inside? Be out on the lake? It's beautiful out. Don't you have, like, modern warfare to go play or something like that? I get kind of bitter. I forget. It's like, oh, yeah, it's going to get, like, insanely busy. And today's only Thursday. Tomorrow, I guarantee, it'll be nuts. This weekend won't be nuts because it's going to be cold, but, like, it's just going to get worse from here on out. So. Ah, alas and alad, this is what we have to go through. Josh, we're glad you liked the new video. Thoughts on the Raiders? Dude, we're just a dumpster fire. I have no hopes. I, like, I, I have no expectations for the Raiders this year. I'm just like... We'll probably be Cheeks. Jimmy Garoppolo is basically Derek Carr. Just cheap. It's like Derek Carr light. Because you don't have to pay him, I guess. 35 mil a year. Whatever we're paying Carr. So you basically get the same quarterback caliber. And we're saving like, what was it? Like 20 grand? It was like 17 mil, 20 mil, something like that. So I guess that's good if you like saving money. But uh, unless we trade up, I just know we're going to take Anthony Richardson 7 overall. I just absolutely know it. Should we? Absolutely not. Should you get him in the second round? Absolutely. Do you want Will Levis? Absolutely not. The only two good quarterbacks are Stroud and Young. Stroud, though, tell me the last time an Ohio State quarterback has been good in the NFL. You could argue Justin Fields. But Justin Fields hasn't proven anything yet. Dude has no weapons, so you got to wait and see. I don't remember the last good Ohio State quarterback. Oh, that's right, because there hasn't been one. So I think Young is probably the best quarterback in this class. Are you going to get either of those? Not unless you pay an arm and a leg to move up in the top three spots to potentially get one of those guys. Can the Raiders afford to do that? Absolutely not, because we have like 12 holes to fill on both offense and defense. So will we draft Anthony Richardson seven over? We'll probably move up and get him. We'll probably go get him at like three. Just something stupid. We'll trade like a future first round pick and a second and a third. And somebody will give us like a conditional seventh and the third overall pick. Just something absolutely nutter. I just, the Raiders are such an incompetent bunch of wind gas bags, dude. I could run the Raiders and I'd charge them a million bucks a year. I could run the Raiders as good as they've been running the franchise in the last 20 years. Easily. No doubt in my mind. Like, I could screw that team up 
just as easily, and I'd charge them half, half price. Anyway, all I have to say, I've got no hope. I've got no hope. Dude, I feel bad for Devontae Adams. Now the dude's got to have Garoppolo throwing at him. Like, uh, What Devontae Adams proved, though, is that Derek Carr is a mid-quarterback. Derek Carr is a mid-quarterback. Because you had Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller out there, Josh Jacobs, the running back who led the league in rushing, and still couldn't get it done. I think that was the final straw for Mark Davis. He was like, I'm sick of this. Like, I got you arguably the best wide receiver in the NFL, and, and we're still not winning games. And people will argue like, well, but Adams and or Waller and Renfro were hurt like half the year. It's like, yeah, but the games they were in, we still weren't winning. How about the Steelers? We couldn't score a single point in the second half against the Steelers. We had Waller. We had Renfro. We had Adams. We had Jacobs. Couldn't score a single point in the second half of that game. Not, not a single three. That's, I mean, that's garbage. If your quarterback is, everybody claims, oh, he's like a top 10 quarterback. If he's a top 10 quarterback, you score, you, I mean, you got to score some point. So... We got rid of we got rid of uh, Carr two years too late, three years too late in my opinion. We should have traded him about three years ago. You would have gotten a first and a second rounder for him, Dan. Now we got cheeks because we put together just an absolutely ridiculous contract with him. I mean, this is like amateur hour, folks. Amateur hour. Like I said, I could do this kind of stuff, and I charge him half price. Stupid. We're gonna move spots. I haven't produced anything here. We're gonna go try somewhere else. Oh, no more sore. Thanks for getting me all riled up now. Yes. Will I watch the draft? Absolutely. We'll probably move up and draft like a guard. And it'll be like, what? Something dumb. If you can't tell, I'm fed up just a little bit. Go back to the bridge fish there. Nah, I don't want to fish there. There's too much traffic right under that bridge. I say that, and there's been a lot of traffic here, but it has slowed down, so. up to this point right up here. See what kind of damage we do. If any. Now we can't have that negative attitude, yo. Gotta stay positive. In the face of adversity! Come on. Work with me. Something like that. 
Top speed! Ramming speed, yo. Look out. We're gonna be flying down this lake at a full 19.5 miles an hour. The engine roars to life! Yee-hoo! Bug to the eye on that ride. Holy Jesus. Always wear protection, ladies and gentlemen. Eye protection. When you go down the boat. Yeah. Looking dark skies. Yeah, a little something up there. My luck will just get absolutely dumped on. Come on, give me some more for us here. Give me some more for me.
just gotta keep plugging away. Come on, Grinchy. You can always try two, but well, I might try it in a bit. Is try some tro like trolling some bucktails. I'll give that a go. Try some different patterns. The fish are scattered like this. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult to. Well, it's difficult for me anyway to locate them. Eight. about 10 extra. It's important. 
thing is, we didn't get the rat nest. There we go. Alright, we're loaded up. Back at it, and I'm back here. Your humble host, watching the rod tips, singing a song. We'll try this for about 30 minutes, and if nothing happens here, we'll just move right along. Might troll some bucktails or something, I don't know. Gee whiz, do something. I do still have my tote fish rods. I have tote fish rods and reels, Philip. These are pizza Pringles. Oh, look. You catch anything? Caught some feelings, that's about it. Yeah, me ancient called Pringles bat. I had to have a talk with my dad after that. I gotta put this on ice, excuse me. Oh, there's a fish moving through. Dude, yeah, we might have to troll. We might have to throw some bucktails out the back. Shoot, even like some of the live herring. Cause there are definitely some fish at about 10, 12 feet moving along. We'll see if they go down to the bottom and eat that. But they're definitely, like I'm marking some stuff along here. We might just have to hit points. I, I've heard they're on the points. But. We even see. I'm fishing between 20 and 30 feet of water, literally. I'm on a point right here, slopes down. I know one rod's at least in 20. That one's probably at about 34 feet, so. We're all over, man. It might rain. Maybe a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle dinkle. Dude, yeah, pizza Pringles for the win. Pizza Pringles for the win. I know we're like tightening up, bro. If a striper hits, that rod's gonna. We'll know. It ain't gonna be like beep 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 beep. How long have I been fishing? Probably since I was like six or seven years old. Thanks, Candy. Glad you enjoy the stash. Most everybody enjoys the stash. Ooh, loaded baked potato. I don't know if I've tried that Pringle. Might have to get on that. Might have to skadoodle onto that. Miguel, when is my going to make a video on Striper? Hopefully soon. Actually, hopefully soon, honestly. When the bite picks back up after this full moon. Miguel, I will go out and do a Striper catch and cook just for you. It'll just be a day. Striper catch a cook. Boom. How about that? That's a promise. Well, oh. 
What's up, we out to you? What's up, Johnny? I know your name. I don't have to call you we out to. Oh, that's a bird. Dang it. I thought that was fish hitting the surface. One of those daggum... What do you call it? What are those called? Loons? Dang, loon. Vanna Kay is in the house. Didn't sleep through the live this time. This boat's gonna run over this loon. It's going for it. Go, get him. Get him, Grandma. Nah, you missed him. Missed him by about 10 feet to your left. It was a valiant attempt. Dylan's become very demanding. What is your age? Tell us! Tell us now! Well, Dylan, you need to back up. You need to take a deep breath. The world will not end if you don't know my age. I can't tell you my exact age, but what I can tell you is it's between 28 and 30. So if you can decipher that for yourself, I'll let you crack the code. Taco flavored Doritos. Don't know if I've had those. Thanks, Robert. Glad you're enjoying it. Be 69. My favorite number. No, I'm I'm 29. What's up, Kaylin? Isn't the mustache legit? Mustache is gonna be here forever. It, it, it's um, it's within the next couple weeks, probably gonna be gone. No, Ace is 13 months older than I am. Heck yeah, man. Why are you bringing up when was the last time I was skunked? Don't, don't bring that. Don't you put that evil on me. It's been a long time since I was skunked. And it's been a minute since our last live stream we were skunked. So, we got plenty of hours though. Huh? Ah. Thanks, Taro. Aloha. I could use a little Hawaii right about now, actually. Let me make a trip back to the motherland. Is this a catch and cook? Well, I caught the Pringles. I had to root around in the bag pretty hard for them. We are eating them. I didn't cook it necessarily. But yeah, you could say that. Oh, the right side of the stash is flat. We got to rectify that. There we go. Some curl. Oh, yeah. We're curled back up now. It's all gravy. You know, sometimes in this heat, sometimes in this humidity, you know, sometimes we get a little droopy, you know, that 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 wax starts to, you know, get a little soft, doesn't hold. You gotta get it back up there. I 
problem fixed, 100%. Dude. We're looking fly, yeah. Oh, I missed a donation. Miguel! <laughs> nice, Miguel. Thanks for the donation. Weather's warm and the water's magnificent. Nice. That sounds phenomenal. You guys have like all the game fish starting to heat up now too, right? Like, excuse me. All the game fish starting to move in in Hawaii. Looks like a storm's about to roll through. Nah, it won't roll through. Not with me here. Storms respect me too much. Storms wait for me to get done fishing. Do I got to keep out for the, uh, for the birds, actually? Last time when I saw the birds, their birds were hitting the surface. Man, I don't see any right now. What's up, Jerome? About to get storms this weekend. I'm trying to... Be that's like my thing this year. I'm trying to be better about drinking more water. My wife is always getting on to me about drinking more water. I just don't. I'm like, well, coffee was made with water. My Gatorade had water in it. Pepsi has water. The base is water. It's like, no, just pure water. Like, oh, like that? Yeah. True. Sure. I'm trying to be better. Trying to be better. And I've been better this year so far. Anyway. Get yourself some flavored water. No, I just need to do I need to go with the pure water. You know what I'm saying? Betting on the red rod. I'm almost tempted. I ran into some two subscribers. They're watching now, dude. I already forgot your guys' names. My bad. Um, two dudes were on a boat, John boat, and they said uh, in the MLF tournament that's going on on uh, Lake right now, they were catching a lot of striper stuff on flukes, off of points like flukes and crankbait and stuff. And I'm almost tempted to whip out a couple of bucktails, um, and just start trolling some bucktails around. Give that a try. See if that does anything. Anyway, we'll give this about 10 more minutes and then, I don't know, maybe we'll, make, we'll put a vote. We'll put it to a vote. Maybe that's what we'll do. Put it to a vote. Do we troll the bucktails or do we keep fishing the bottom? Dude, I don't have anything. I brought all heavy duty rods, man. Sorry. All the heavy duty. Have you ever trolled an A rig? You mean like an Alabama rig? Yeah, I have. Oh, there's a big old ball of bait moving through. Right under us. Missed it. Right under us. I'm trying to flip this water bottle. It's not really working because the boat's rocking back and forth, but. Troll bucktails and bait. Yeah, there's a big school. The herring are spawning right now. So, really, no, we have not caught anything. Caught some sun, caught some waves, caught some wind in the hair, wind through the stash. Troll some live. I think we need to do that. I'm just not. I'm just not i trying to think where we start with that. Oh, woo, God. Shoot, we just start right here. Troll some Pringles. Yeah, we're not taking any advice from Redbird's Junkie. That's a terrible idea. Absolutely terrible. Throw some bucktails around the bank. I have a buddy that swears by bucktails. 
That's Bobby White. Bobby White from Jighead Outdoors. Dude loves himself some bucktail. Carp dig the taters. Dude, nice. Marvin, I'm glad you liked the video. Yeah, see, there's a, I guarantee you that's a fish at 10 feet right there. Dang. All right. A couple more minutes with this on the bottom. Then we're going we're gonna to throw some bucktails on and troll a couple of bucktails. Troll around. I got plenty of juice in the old trolling motor. And uh, we'll just kind of troll past these points and stuff and just see if we get lucky. Hit it in about a mile and a half, an hour or so. Maybe two miles an hour. See what we can do. Are Pringles even real potatoes? Dude, you're a real potato. Of course they are. Let me read the ingredients. Ingredients, dried potatoes, vegetable oil, corn, cottonseed, high oleic soybean, not just regular soybean. This soybean is high. Like, I wonder how high, like, are we talking like Cheech and Chong high soybean? Are we talking like just slightly blazed? But apparently the soybean is high. It could be sunflower oil and or, so they're not even sure if the sunflower oil uh, was put in here. So it's high soybean and or sunflower oil. That's slightly disturbing because they don't even know if the sunflower oil, it could be in there, maybe not. I mean, maybe, we don't know. Whoever mixed the batch, it could be in there, it could not be, anyway. Uh, De-germinated yellow corn flour, corn starch, rice flour, something I can't even pronounce, and mono and diglycerides. Oh, hold up, we're not done yet. Contains milk and wheat ingredients. Contains 2% or less of the following. Salt, whey, as in curds and whey. Tomato powder. Don't know how you're crushing tomatoes up into powder, but they're doing that these days. Cheddar cheese, milk, salt, cheese cultured enzymes. So it's not even just cheese, it's the enzymes of cheese. Uh, monosodium. Mm, mate. Let's roll with that. Natural flavors. I told you it had natural flavors in here. Sugar, onion powder. I am familiar with the onion powder. Spices. That's generic. It's just got spices in it. What kind of spices? It's just spices. What's it flavored with? Spices. There you go. It covers it all. Coconut oil, garlic powder, buttermilk, citric acid. Good to know we've got a little acid in here. Why not? I mean, we've got high beans, high soybeans. Let's trip on some acid here as well. Um, so not even any kind of acid, citric acid. It's got cream and yeast in it. Oh, yeast, not even just regular yeast. It's the extract of yeast. Whatever they're extracting out of yeast. Um, more acid, malic acid. Um, paprika extract color, red 40 lake. Lactic acid, even more acid. Boy, this thing is just like tripping, tripping. Um, and wheat starch. Is that everything? I'm done with that. Let's reel the rods up and uh, let's troll some bucktails. start with some live bait because I have live bait let's start with the live bait then we'll go with the bucktail because I'm all rigged up for the live let's go with that first and then we'll go what you call it Oh, 
dude, look at that, dude. That's called a turtle, ladies and gentlemen. So we did get a bite, officially. That's what we're trolling. I mean, it looks pretty good. So, let's see. Two of those going down right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and we troll low speed, somewhat low speed. We want we want the, the fish moved in a little bit here. I'm not sure if I like this hat. I like the design on it, but it doesn't really stand up. I feel like a train conductor here a little bit. about a little over half a mile an hour All right people when am I hunting the cotton mouth dude when I can find one I'm gonna nail it are you kidding me 100% at this one. Oh, that's better. I'm trying to crane my neck to see you guys. There's a ball of bait right there. Come on. We're just going to troll these points. You've been lying for two hours. Wow, we've just begun then. You've watched my lives. You know the party has just started. Did you catch anything? We have to answer honestly. Yeah, go have a cut. Gamer sees I'm gonna be here all live. That's dedication. I ask you to find a more loyal fan base than the phalanges of high adventure videos. I dare say they don't exist. What's the fish out there? Hopefully, dude, some. Striper. Oh, there's something, something hit the surface right there. We're going to get a little closer to the bank. We're going to troll a little shallower. I mean, I don't know what it was. Maybe you guys saw it. 
but um, I don't know. How are the bees? Dude, y'all, we're going to see a preview of the bees tomorrow, hopefully. I'm going to edit that video up, publish it tomorrow on my second channel, High Adventure Videos 2. So, if you're interested in the beekeeping, uh, then that's where it'll be. Ben, did you, you catch a crappy? Hold up, I gotta go. Hey, there you go. You know what? You gotta catch them how you can catch them. Duh. Um, good for you. Oh, there's something fun about fish for crappy. There's something fun about it. People, that's probably one of the number one questions people ask me. Like, what's your favorite fish to catch? And it's like, I don't have a favorite. I like. I just have hankerings. I like catching any kind of fish. Like right now, I'd really like to catch a striper. I'm really excited to go down to the coast. I want to do some, I'm excited to go do like some, uh, uh, some shark fishing here pretty soon. Like I don't, I really don't have a favorite. No, this one's too shallow right there. bit shallow. Pick up the pace here. Like the bullhead and buttered garlic? That sounds good. Oh, see, this one's too shallow too. Might too shallow. We'll get it back out of the ground. Still dragging the bottom a bit there. Gotta get back out. It's a little bit deeper here. Yeah, we're doing like like seven feet of water. Never mind. Thanks, James. Dude, we'll come back out here and do another live shell cracker fishing for sure. For sure. I gotta get a little bit deeper though. Fish hitting the surface. Chop this back down again. Yeah.
down a little bit deeper. Trying to keep an eye on the back of some of these coves. Just make sure there's no uh, surface activity. Hold up, what's that? There's something going on back here, but I can't tell if it's the loons. I need binoculars on the boat, yo. I can't tell if it's the loons or... Oh, that's that just got bit right there. Hey, maybe we should be trolling. Now, let's actually, like, hook up. That definitely got bit. I can't tell if I see loons on the surface over there just... Or if those are fish. That just got a bite right there. We're gonna head towards it. Oh man, I'm getting a lot more marks around here. I need I need to get binoculars. I need to get binoculars for the boat. Because then I can like look and absolutely tell if that's fish schooling. Sometimes the loons when they're chasing the like they um when they're chasing the bait, they'll be going all over and splashing and stuff. And I can't tell if I see any over there. I almost feel like I see some over there. But if they're around the bait, you know, that's a good sign. How fast am I going? We're going to decent speed right now. We're making our way that way, so we'll, we'll see here. We'll see what's up. Just wear by vocals. That would be easier. Am I planning anything special this Easter weekend? Um, no, nothing to. Okay, that is there is a bird over there for sure. Um, but he's got to be around some bait, so we'll go check it out. Um, no, because it's supposed to be really nasty weather here. Um, so we were talking, my wife and I were talking about, like, we'll probably have, like, I mean, we'll have, like, our Easter uh, dinner and everything, but we'll probably, my whole house has been sick for, like, the last three weeks. It's been, like, rotating around in our house. It's been really ridiculous. Um, uh, but what we'll probably do is, like, have to, we'll probably have to do, like, a, Easter egg hunt, like, in the house or something like that. We were talking about that. It's, like, it's going to be so gnarly, the weather this weekend. But, um, no, no plans. It's going to be 50 degrees. I actually am scraping the, um, um, I'm scraping the popcorn off my ceilings. That's fun. Always a good time. So, I'll be working on some projects. The bees are doing good. The bees are still here, so that's good. It's always good. Um, we'll uh, I'll be I'll be hopefully publishing a video tomorrow about tomorrow tomorrow about the bees. So stay tuned if you want. I mean, you don't have to. Dude, I don't think the bees will start producing honey until, like, I think it's, like, end of summer. Something like that. Like, August, September. Until I can maybe start, like, doing some harvesting. So it'll be a bit. It'll be a bit. As long as all goes well. Yeah, there's just a couple loons over there. Now, obviously, they were getting after something. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the horizon and stuff. Make sure I don't see any birds. It's a perfect afternoon. I feel like birds could be flocking today. Or, uh, uh. Uh, they could be dive bombing because it's just it's uh you guys circling my boat yo it's cloudy and I could see the bait kind of hitting the surface potentially <laughs> I 
No, I ain't using the bees as bait, yo. I, you know how hard that would be? That would be rather difficult. Dude, the weather's gorgeous today, man. It's like a beautiful afternoon here. It's just, I think that full moon is throwing the fishing off a bit. A wee bit. But we're not giving up yet. We'll, we'll find some fish, man. I got, I got, I don't know. I'm still feeling confident. I feel like we're gonna do this. It'll probably be when we least expect it. And if anything, we had a beautiful day out on the water. But we're not, we're not giving up that easily. Dang, dude, that is expensive for crickets. I'm gonna have to start my own cricket farm, yo. That is ridiculous. Yeah, go get some grasshoppers in the tall grass. That's fair. Since that one got hit, I'm gonna check the bait on that. I'll be right, well, I'll just show you guys. I'll move you out this way, keep an eye on that rod. Yeah, right here. Good. Another big old bait ball right here. Yeah, we're like rolling right through a bunch of bait. That's what those birds were after. We're in the right areas, you know. If we're in the areas with the bait, that's that's where you want to be. Duh. Um, just a matter on finding feeding fish, really. Nice shorts. Thanks, bro. Yeah, these are uh, Vineyard Vines, man. These are uh, like a southern brand. Uh, and they're really nice. Super comfortable. These are a nice, like, swimming suit. They're expensive, but they last a long time. And I like the colors. Good South Carolina colors, yo. I could have sworn I just saw something hit the surface right off this point. I don't know if I'm just seeing things now because I want to see them. But it looks suspicious. Now something just hit right there. That wasn't a very big jump. Could have been a brim for for all I know, but there was definitely something something popped right there. Mr. Chat. I like the mustache, dude. I feel like the mustache is like if the mustache were running for president, it's got like probably about a 97% favorability rating right now. Easily. There are still a few people don't like it. My wife would be one of them. Um, and that's fair. But uh, the public the public enjoys it. But the stash the stash is uh stash won't be with us for long. Stash gets a little uncomfortable. And it's kinda getting hot, I'll be downright honest with you. A little bit warm. I don't need I don't need the upper lip to stay warm. It, it's getting plenty warm as it is. Kind of hard to keep clean too. Hello from Toronto. That's awesome.
Jerry, I think everybody's doing phenomenal. From what I've surmised in the chat, everybody's just living life. It's a Thursday. Tomorrow's the best day of the week. Best day of the week, Friday. Life is good. What more can you want? We're on the brink of World War III. Trillions of dollars in debt. The economy sucks. Life is good. <laughs> Woo! Uh, anyway, minus those minor things. Um, life is good, man. Dang, I could still get drafted. I'm 29. I need to be 39. What is what is the drafting age? Isn't it like 32 or 34? Like after that. You know I'm going to just bring a GoPro with me. I'm going to just be like, hey, we'll start a third channel. The War. It probably won't start with the Finger of High Adventure, though. I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. Shoot. Look, what's going on, YouTube fam? Shooting another High Adventure video. So, we are in the trenches today. And those guys over there are starting to shell us. So it's not looking great, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what we can do today. Like a real nonchalant. Let's get some drone shots next. Vineyard Vines is a New England company off the... Oh, no kidding. Are we cooking it all today? I don't know. What's your definition, Tash, of cooking? Are we cooking it up on the boat? Are we, like, cooking, cooking? Are we, like, breaking bad cooking? No, we're not doing that kind of cooking. Um... Are we like, oh, we're cooking. We're cooking. Not doing that kind of cooking either right now, currently. We're yet to boat a fish. Um, are we food cooking? Like, we're in Martha Stewart's house? Maybe. Depending on when we catch a fish. If we do indeed catch one. Then we probably will cook. Allegedly. I gotta cover my bases. I don't know. Fish food on boat cooking. See, now that's specific. Um, if I catch something, maybe. It depends on when I catch it. If we catch it at like the final hour, probably not. But if I get something here relatively soon, shoot, yeah. Cook it right up. have a favorite fish seasoning good question though you like the hat dude I got this there's like a small company it's kind of reminds me almost of like toad fish uh, started down in Florida though it's called Baggio uh, but I think they're relatively new and I saw their stuff and I was like that looks cool I was like hey you want to collab and they never responded, so I just bought their hats. <laughs> like, cool, I like your stuff. You wanna send me some stuff? I'll wear it in videos and put links to it. It's like, I'm gonna guess that was a no. Okay, I guess I'll pay the full price for it. So I just bought it, man. So you just gotta support. 
the local biz. Here in Idaho, it takes a few years to miss Idaho. I'll take your word for that. We'll find out. Is the merch link in the description? Yes, it is. You'll see a whole line of like my shirts and stuff like that. Get BASS shaved into your stash now. The stash will be long gone before that happens. Sorry, stash. But I'm going to be completely truthful and honest with my stash. What did I catch? Nothing. I'm about 20 feet of water right now. Rolling over this point. Is it just because your wife doesn't like it? No. I mean, obviously, that's a contributing factor, right? But it's uncomfortable when I sleep because it all, like, pokes up into my face when I've got my face in the pillow. And uh, I'm cleaning it. Anytime I blow my nose, like, snot gets all in the stash. You have to, like, wipe it out. It's kind of nasty. It's like, ugh. So, and it's kind of warm. I'm not going to lie. This heat, like I can feel the condensation, the moisturation, the, the evaporation all up in the stash, and it's like I don't need any more of this than I already have. So, you know what we need to do, dudes? We need to do a live stream down at the coast. That's what I need to do. Anchor up with a bunch of mud minnows, and we need to live stream it up. We could throw some, uh, we could throw some stuff out, see if we could bring some crabs to the boat, like I did that one time. Not during a live stream, but in one of my videos. Dudes, the idea is taking root. You know what we also need to do? We need to live stream for like a pier, or throw some lines out for like some shark. Also another great idea. Amy Ancient's in the house. Pops, that was fun. I hope you liked the video. Rolling over a main lake point right now. What year is my boat? I think it's a uh, 2016. We're rolling right over in 17 feet of water. I've caught some striper trolling out here before. Actually, I caught out of the kayak last like, two years ago. Let's see what happens here. Would you ever sell your boat for a $200,000 boat? That's not exactly like... You know, I, I wouldn't swap this boat out. I could sell this boat and then come up with like another $183,000. Um, to upgrade to a $200,000 boat, so I don't know. Not right now. Striper at. Well, that was thunder. Great. That's what I need. Some thunder. Woo! 98 grand. Here's the question you have to ask yourself Will you get $98,000 worth of fun out of your boat? Or could you get that same amount of fun, say, out of a $20,000 boat? Or $15,000 boat? Or a $7,000 Therein lies the real question. And it all depends on what you like to do. Like, I'm not going to go deep sea fishing in this boat anytime soon. 
So, if deep sea fishing is your jive, then you know what? You probably are gonna have to drop some coin. Uh, a deep sea fishing vessel. Tasha's mom, hello. Wait a second. Thanks, Nate. Mortal X, glad you caught a live stream. It's been phenomenal. You got here right as the fishing has picked up. My left eyebrow is so beautiful. Really? Well, now I gotta look at it. I mean, I could see that, I guess. Uh, thank you. Awesome. A little shallow right here. You had no idea, Ace and I. Oh, look, there's a hit. That was a fish. Right there, right there. Come on, baby. That wasn't the bottom. Come on. back and bend it again. Come on, baby. Get ready. Just came back and hit it again. Waste opportunities, yo. I have to check the bait in a minute. I don't think there is any speed limit on the lake. No speed limit. I'm 
I'm gonna check the bait. Uh, no, I already checked the bait on that guy. He hasn't gotten me yet. Come on, man. Come on. Could have been just a small fish. Say hi, bitch, from here. Hey, Mark. What's up, Joseph? I think this trolling's gonna be the key. Cover more land. Or cover more water. You're not covering land. I mean, I guess you're covering the bank, but just cover more water. Better chance of like running into a school of fish or maybe finding a spot where the fish are hanging out more. Then I could chat with you guys. I just got excited about doing a live stream down to the coast now. Yeah, I'm all psyched. That was fun. Remember the last time we were down there and I kept like losing the big red fish? Oh, that was so aggravating. That was fun though. Caught fish. It's a good time. Yeah, we gotta go do that again. We could throw some little hand lines out, catch some crab. All the blue crabs starting to move back up into the into the creeks. Umbrella rig? You know, we could. We could throw out some umbrella rigs and see. I've actually got some pretty stout rods. I've got like my catfishing rods. We could attach it to that. See what happens. There's definitely like some storm going on behind us, but it, it, it's off that way. I can hear some thunder every now and again. But it seems pretty far away. But you know how that goes. I'm trying to see if I see any surface activity. Keep your eyes peeled. See something just hit the surface right there. And I don't know what. Maybe stay somewhat close to the shoreline. That wasn't a big fish. I don't know what that. It could have been a bit large mouth ball. I don't know, but it wasn't very big. You ever fished in Oregon? I don't think I've actually. Have I legit? No, yeah, I have. I've catfished in Oregon. Yeah, I have indeed. I, I kind of freaked out when I got out here. Um, my license expires in April, but it doesn't expire until April 9th. Um, so I was like, phew! So I've got three days. So I've got to uh, kind of get back online and re up it. I gotta see, is it gator season yet? Do I, can I put in for my gator tag? Can I put in for my gator tag? Or is that next month? I was trying to remember. Jason Godfrey donates $10 says me ancient. That was a Jocassi pig. Nice fish, man. Tisha Key donates $10 and says I'm back. Tisha, where are you going? What, what, what on earth could you have that's more important? I'm watching a live stream where we haven't caught anything yet. We did get a great bite, though. Thank you guys for the donations. Seriously. Uh, see, there's something down there at 10 feet. There's something at 10 feet. There's a there's a mark. Come on, baby. Come on, Grinchy. Oh, me agent donates $20. Thank you, Meat Pops. I appreciate it. You think it's June that we put in for? I thought that's when they drew. I thought they drew the tags for uh, in June. Hey, has anybody else had um, problems? Um, uh, 
Has anybody else had problems with getting, um, DNR still has not sent me my, uh, what is it, my registration for my boat. Anybody else had that problem in South Carolina? I haven't gotten, like, my stickers. They expired in January. But it seems like I saw somebody, like, I saw online or something, somebody else is having the same issue. Anybody else out there? Because DNR is separate from the DMV, if I'm not mistaken. They do their own thing. Oh, you got volleyball? That's fair. That's fair. Priorities, man. Priorities. I like seeing some fish bust the surface down here. I think we'll roll past this point. Uh, there's another fish down there 20 feet. Just went down and came back up. They're cruising. These fish are just cruising around right now. I think you're just going to have to get lucky and find one that's uh, find one that's feeding. Trying to make sure I'm not missing out on any uh, uh, missing out on any anything that's like schooling in the backs of these coves. So far I don't think so. kind of hoping we'll get uh oh your mom says the trout was delicious thank you for sending it home with pops you're welcome mama i'm glad you guys enjoyed it i'm glad y'all enjoyed it it was good i ate mine too it was stinking delicious i'm almost tempted to go back up to joe cassie and just spend like two days trolling i'll bet i could put probably like i don't know at least seven or eight trout in, on the ice i'm almost tempted to do that man i don't know if y'all would find that an interesting video or not but Man, that trout is just so stinking good. Just like two days of trolling live bait. Just like two days straight. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we got to go to the coast first, for sure. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back up. Because there's always the there's always like the chance, too, that like, you know, you might hook into like, they catch like seven and eight pound brown trout out there. So there's always a chance like we might hook into like, you know, three, four pound brown trout, five pound brown trout or something like that. Uh but I almost feel like I need to go to the coast first. I've been talking about that. Y'all can't get off that Mr. Tums jag, man. Bunch of sick individuals. <laughs> uh, there we go. See what happens off this point here. Plug a piggy. Hog a fish catch and cook. All right. Maybe we'll have to give it a go. Kevin Grease says, keep up the good work, Mike. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate it. Thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate that. What boat brand is best, dude? I don't know. I don't I had never heard of Express Boats until I went and bought a boat. An Express Boat. So, I'm like the last person to ask. Bros of more boat camping videos this summer. Dude, I'm going to go down to the coast weather permitting and do just that next week so gird your loins bro because there's some boat camping there's some foul play afoot with the boat camping down at the coast next week hopefully it'll be lit as the kids say no cap it'll be straight bussing Just came by to appreciate the awesome mustache. Dude, bask in its presence for a little bit. If you need to. Or if, if just a, just a view of it is all you needed, then uh, you're welcome. Okay, I need to curl this side. It's kind of kind of drooping a little bit here. There we go. Oh, now we're cooking.
Love it. You sort of miss the tooth, dude. I don't. I'm glad I've got all my teeth back in my head. See ya, Philip. Deuces. Take it easy. Stay sexy. Above all else. And say no to drugs. Especially all the acid that's in these potato chips. Good lord have mercy. Cheapers. It's messed up, yo. A little shallow for my blood here. We gotta turn up the juice here. Get out of this dead zone. Got really shallow all of a sudden. Yeah, Robert, say no to Pringles. Especially potato Pringles. Hey, three, dude. This one, I think we're just hitting up. Love the live feeds. Good. I'm glad you like the live streams. It's so funny. I still have people that are like, they're like, bro, you need to stop doing the live streams and shoot real videos. Like the quality's not great, and sometimes there are long periods of time between catching fish. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of a live stream. Like a live stream is meant to be enjoyed live. I, you know. You miss the point of the live stream. They're not really not meant to be watched like after the fact. I mean, although a lot of people do, but it's more for like this right here, right? Like we get to hang out. That just got bit right there. You got a little tap. Why am I getting tapped, man? I want you to drop the hammer on that. Lay a beat down. Golly check that bait in a minute but um, yeah live stream is like for the interaction that's what I try to do anyway that way I can hang out with my, my uh, subscribers and we can chill together you know really make a connection bond if you will uh, I got weird fast uh, anyway Live streams are meant to be enjoyed live. Oh, there's a fish right here, right here, right here. Got it. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. First fish, guys. Not very big. But we got him. Oh, not big at all. Dang it. Dude hammered that, though. Hey, we found some. On that one. There you go. There's a first fish. We got the skunk out of the boat. Sometimes you just got to take it a step at a time. Step at a time. Sometimes you just got to start. Start with a little one. And then go from there. Keep this going straight. Come on now. Come on. Stop. Oh, hold up. I don't know where my boat's going here. There we go. Oh, I'm hitting the bottom with that. There you go. First one. Oh, come on. Don't drag the bottom. Go faster than that. How? Oh, man. We are shallow. Shallow points. That's where he was. We got plenty of them around here. Pop this guy off. We'll get him back in. Come 
on. There you go. First striper. Not very big, but it's awesome. We got the skunk out of the boat. He is. Oh, well, what the heck? Fourteen inches, seven inches away. Fourteen inches. If we're at that time of year, that'd be like the perfect one to eat. That like uh, where you uh, can keep like any size, but you can only keep five. That'd be a good size right there to keep. But drop him back in. There he goes. Right, let's get this bait back out. All right, all right. There we go. See, baby steps, man. Baby steps. A little bit of time. Rome wasn't built in a day. That's what we got him on right there. Check the bait on this guy over here. Make sure our bait still looks good. Where are we looking, buddy? He's still swimming. Covering some ground. All right. That gave me a little pick me up here. In fact, that picked me up so much. I'm gonna eat a snack. Would you like some knots? like the candied nuts. Got rain coming my way. Not this day. It is coming my way. It's getting here like tomorrow. Oh, there's one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, did you guys see that tank? Did you guys see that tank? Oh, my gosh. Woo! Oh, we got a good fish. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, my. Oh, shoot. I'm running out of line. Come on, baby. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish fish. That's a fish fish. Come on, all right, we're getting some ground now. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. This might be our keeper right here. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a keeper. I can just tell by the weight. Come on. I'm trying to stay trolling. Like right in front of the camp here. 
right in front of the camp. Come on. Come on, Micah. Make it happen. Come on, baby. I need to go to the front and grab the grab my net really quickly. Dude, that was a that was a take right there. That was a good hit. Come on. Dude, this is a bowl. This is a bowl. Got all day. Got all day. Come on. Dude, guys, this is a this is an oinker. <laughs> this is a real oinker. I can tell you right now, I just feel the weight of it, dude. I haven't even seen it yet, and I know it's a keeper. Where's he at? You know, I'm going to turn the boat off. Because I want to make sure I get this fish in. I don't want to keep fighting it again. Big Come on, baby. Pass in the boat. Oh, geez. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, it's a big old catfish. I kid you not, it's a big old catfish. It is a, it is a toad cat. Like, David, what are we doing catching big old catfish? There it is. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Dude, he had to come up and smoke this thing. Get out of here. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, jeepers. Oh, he spilled my nuts. Come here. All right, we got the other one. I want to get it out really quickly. Dang it. That's not what we want. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of awesome. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, big old tubby. Kitty, kitty, Jason Godfrey donates $10. Thanks, man. <laughs> Dude, that's probably like eight or nine pounds, I guarantee it. Eight or nine pound cat. Dang, man. I wasn't ready for a catfish to come up and smoke the old uh, herring while we were trolling it like a mile and a half an hour. But you know what? Hey, we're making it. We started with the smallest striper. Now we got a decent catfish, you know, inch by inch, man, inch by inch. We'll throw them on a string or throw them out the back. Dang, man. I got nuts all over the boat. Get three. All right. Man alive, I thought we got a big old, I, I thought we got like a seven, eight pound striper on right here. Man. Dude, I've got these nuts all over the boat. Literally, they're like, they're all over the, the deck. Man. Well, got my blood pumping, that's for sure.
Oh. Shoo. Here we go. There you go. I mean, it's better than nothing. Just don't lose the uh, stringer. I want him like right behind the boat. There we go. Dang it, man. Okay, let's get another piece of bait out there. That's still pretty sweet though. I mean, like I said, I'll take that over the skunk that we were facing here not 30 minutes ago. You know what they got happened? We switched from the Pringles to the nuts and we're starting to get bit. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we needed to do. see that hit I mean that tank that was a that thing busted it that dude legit had to come up at least seven eight feet off the bottom to hit that unless he was suspended that's one thing I've learned apparently here in the south the catfish will like suspend you know they'll be they'll be like 20 feet off the bottom I, I'm not used to that concept Right back at it again, just like I always said. All right, guys, we're back at it. Woo. That was a real oinker. nuts off the boat right now. There's going to just boated a piggy catfish. Just living it up, fuzzball. Just boated a real winker. that striper yell. I might have made some catfish nuggies this weekend. We're using live herring right now. We're trolling live herring. I might try some bucktails though. I mean, we just caught that fish. My live herring is starting to dwindle. I'm, I'm starting to run out of my live herring a little bit, so we'll see. I've only got like three or four left. I don't know if that was the bottom or a fish right there. Use dynamite while you're fishing. I'll bet that does never fail. Success rate on that's pretty high. Nah, dude, I'm not jumping in the lake yet. Lake yet. 
I mean, it's 75 degrees, but like. Chuck says, break the stove out and cook the cat. Maybe we will. Let me roll past this these couple of points here and we'll go for a... Uh... Look, it's not illegal if you get don't get caught. Uh, one of my most recent videos, I was filming in Walmart. I don't remember where. Grabbing something in Walmart. I don't remember what it was, but... So people are like, it's illegal to film in Walmart. I was like, well, if you don't get caught, it ain't illegal. So. What's up, Cap? There's a lot of debris in the water, yo. Must have raised the lake water level recently. There's a lot of junk in the water. Dang it, man. I wish I was a big old striper. Dang. I'm slightly peeved at that catfish. Now I'm gonna cook it up just out of spite. I'm like, eh. You will be nuggets. These nuggets. Just because you were a catfish. I mean, no fault of his own. I 100 percent wasn't his fault, but dang it man. The problem with the catfish, cooking the catfish up here on the boat, I have a sharp knife to dispatch like a striper quickly. But if you've ever cleaned a catfish, like the head is like a rock. Normally, I beat my catfish over the head with a stone. Like I literally just crush its skull like that's dead. Or I'll throw it on ice, but it won't fit in my cooler. And my knife, my little fillet knife isn't gonna like, I don't know, it's gonna kind of suffer a bit before I finally dispatch it. I kind of hate that. I was planning on cooking a striper because I could kill that relatively easy on the boat. I could get my knife and just right through the spine pretty quickly, but we'll see. I could bleed it. That's true. That's true. We'll, uh, we'll go around this point and make a decision. If I start striper, or if I start cooking up the catfish, though, we'll need to anchor up as far as I'm not going to be able to try to troll. And, oh, there's a marker right there. Hopefully that'll be something. I'm not going to be able to troll and fish, or and cook at the same time. Um, so, leave it to see. Caught one 14 inch striper, and we just caught like a nine pound catfish. Yeah, we might get a little rain. Let me show you guys. Look at that. So there's that's behind us, but I think that that's moving off like that way. But that right there, that little guy, uh, there, bing, that, that might come right over us if it doesn't dissipate. And that's still quite a ways off, but we'll see. Keep an eye on it. You know what I'm saying? This is 
is a really nice lake. Some really nice houses on this lake too. Dang it, I blew a tire on my thing. Rocks here. Strap busted through the rubber. No, it won't stay in. I have to get some new crocs. I beat the devil out of these things, yo. Uh, I don't miss fishing in Idaho. There's so much fun fishing and crabbing and shrimping here. I really don't. I really did. That one might have just got popped right there. It looked like that shooketh a little bit. It gave it a quick shooketh. It gave it a shake. Whoa, what was that? Did anybody see that? What's shoe goo? I have to look it up. You like the new video? Awesome. New video seems to be a hit. That was a pretty good splash. I don't think that was a god. That needed to be a striper or a largemouth. No, it actually like broke through the rubber on my shoe. I'll look up shoe goo. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. That could chase us off. I hate to say that, but it's that time of year, y'all. You know it. Have those like thunderstorms that roll up in the afternoon. It's that time of year when the weather tries to screw us at every turn. I don't think that's how that went. Maybe, I don't know. Was my truth. Well, the thing is, I've only had these Crocs for a year, so like I kind of want them to make it last a little longer. Gamer sees when it starts lightning, get out of there. That's a fair point. Truer words have never been spoken. Do I still do a Raider podcast? I do, but we're very sporadic with it. So we'll probably like drop a pod before the draft. We've only done like one podcast in the last like two months, I'll be honest with you. I'm busy, man. What lake are you on? Lake, what's it to ya? We're on Lake Murray. Dude, I don't know, but like the still weather. I didn't bring the crappy gear, sorry. I went, I was going for striper because the striper fishing was like bomb. And then I find out that like the full moon like killed the striper. Um, I got to remember that Degum full moon. Um, what were we talking about? I totally forgot. The weather? Fishing. Yeah, whatever. Should go a full beard with the stash. That's gonna be too hot, bro. That'll just be too hot. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just that's a little too much for me. Too much. It's a little too intense speed up over this flat. It's in like super shallow. Come on, weather miss me. Oh, I was talking what I was talking about. This weather and like the water and the warmth is giving me real like ah uh, we're hitting this flat. Uh, everybody drag over the top. I'm trying to speed up. Um it's giving me real um what you call it? 
dinking, uh, what are they called? Shell cracker. Give me the shell cracker fishing vibes is what it's doing. This is too shallow. Oh, no, I'm sad. Ew. Ah, shoot. Okay, hold on. Dang, this got like super shallow. It got down like five feet. Holy cow, and I can hear thunder. It's not looking good. I gotta turn around first off. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna close line you guys. Try to get this out really quickly. Dude, I legit had a lady, she was like, are you a cop at Bojangles? She's like, are you a cop? I was like, no, why? She's like, I saw the staff. I thought, oh. I was really didn't realize I was giving off those kind of vibes. But for her, that's what she was thinking of, apparently. Come out. There, now. Yeah. Oh, my face is still on and kick. What do you know? Okay. young fishy. Wow. Like ridiculously like shallow all of a sudden. Jeepers. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, yeah, it feels like it's moving off a little bit, man. I can't tell. We might get dumped on. There's a real possibility. I'm fairly close to the ramp, but that might kill the live stream, I'll be honest with you, especially since it's so late. No, it's not that late, but it doesn't look like a fast storm. I don't know, maybe. Dude, that, that sucker's booking it, dude. That storm, like... Side here. Which way is it moving? That might miss us actually. We might get just a little tinkle of rain, if you will. Alright, drop the lines back down. back out still trolling through and we wait and we watch that might that might just we're either gonna get hit like we're gonna get broadsided by that or would it's just gonna tickle right past us I can't tell Dude, I'm still working on. This. I've been nursing the same rock star. I 
I can't have more than one. I used to. I used to be able to have like a couple rock stars in a day, but no way. No way, Jose. Some good shellcracker fishing right around here. Very small storm on the radar. Yeah, I'm looking right at it, bro. It's right out here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it chills. I think we're going to get hit dead on with that, though. I think it's raining on the other side of the lake right now. Man, it's going to be close. It'll be close because I think it's like moving like like this to like this direction. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's wishful thinking. We'll all find out together. The live stream might end really quickly. I might be like, guys. We gotta get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Beep. Fortunately, I'm only about a two minute boat ride from the ramp. So. That was actually one of the reasons because I saw the clouds when I rolled up and I was like, oh, this looks suspect. Um, and I was like, I don't want to go very far. Because I have ridden in a lightning storm. Um, and that is not fun. I've, I've been caught out here on the lake. Like when you're, when you're trying to speed through the rain and it's booming right ahead of you. And you're like, we're going to die out here today, aren't we? And that's, that's pretty intense. You want to thrill. That's, uh. I don't care to do that again. Fine, uh, we'll see. Sponging on the nuts. Chilling. Me or what? Hey, we're getting a little bit of rain either way because there's some, there's a little sheet, but that's very light. It's that big old thing right over there, which I'm not sure of. There, you go. let me show you guys. Here's what we're looking at. See that right there? That whole section from about, let's see, here to here. That's what I'm worried about. A lot right there. Right over there. You can see, there's just a, there's a little bit, let's see, how, how do I do that? No. There's a little bit right over there. So, if we get hit by that, it'll sprinkle dinkle a little bit. Just enough to kind of make us aggravated. But it won't, pro probably won't end the live stream. I'm jinxing myself hardcore right now. But if the main body hits us, then, yeah, we're that looks pretty heavy. That looks like, hey, fill up the boat. Heavy. So we'll all find out together shortly. Within the next probably 20 minutes. So. What's up, Rich? The fish are in deeper waters. I don't know, man. Those last two fish would make the difference, but maybe you're right. Oh, maybe. There you go. Dude, I don't... I'm all so excited to go to the coast now. Dang it. Like, I'm pumped. I want to get a doormat flounder. I want to get a flounder that's like... What's considered a doormat? Like, what, 21 plus inches? The, what, the legal size, I think, is 15, right? I think it's still 15. Um... So I would think a doormat has to be at least 20 inches, right? I want to get me a big old fat flounder. Really down for that. But I would love to just go down, kiss some crab, all that kind of stuff. Catch some crab, catch some spot tail, catch some trout, maybe a drum, a 
black drum. What's your play here, Clouds? Go get yourself a California halibut. It's not like it's a pet or what? What are you gonna do to me? I can't even tell like what way it's moving. I give up. My doormat would have to be too big because I, I could stand on a 15 inch and it's considered a doormat for my feet. <laughs> nice. You love the crabbing videos, dude. This year, especially since I'm like starting to figure out the crabbing and stuff, I thought there was like something kind of like, oh, how do you catch a crab? No, not really. Um, I'm gonna definitely come out with at least like two to three good crabbing videos this year. Like, like videos just dedicated to crabbing. Got some crazy ideas, might might work on that, but there'll be some crab and obviously more shrimping when the shrimping season comes around. Um, I'm just gonna hit the coast earlier this year, I think, than I did last year. Here at Lake Murray, I'm starting to kind of figure out patterns and you start to do that, like everybody does that right with their fishing. But like around here, like I'm starting to figure out like, you know, when I want a crappy fish, you need to do that from like November through March. This year was a little weird because February is so warm. Um, the next couple of months should be good like striper fishing, cat fishing, the coast looks good too. Um, when it gets, and then like the striper fishing here, like the dam should be heating up probably in the next few weeks. Um, but then I learned like last year, by middle of July, it is not even worth putting your boat in the water at Lake Murray. It's just not. It's so hot. There are so many pleasure cruisers out. It's, it, it, it doesn't even make any sense. It's like, don't even waste your time. And, and, and stay off the lake from about middle of July, at least until I would say probably middle September. So there's like a two month period. Don't even bother with Lake Murray. It's so hot, it's even hard to catch shell cracker. So I've learned that's like, okay, start going down to the coast, start crabbing, start doing some stuff like that. I'm um, getting after some sheep's head, that kind of thing. Uh, I know they're catching tons of sheep's head down there right now as well. So um, I'm like, just so starting to kind of like put the patterns together of like where to fish, when to fish, all that kind of stuff. Um, so like for the next couple of months around here, I'm going to try, I like I said, I'm going to be working on like catfishing videos, uh, getting after some of these striper, um, probably even like some of the shell crack or shell cracker fishing should be pretty decent, uh, for the next couple of months, especially if the water can stay consistent, this warm, this warm temperature can stay consistent. Um, and then, uh, and then also the coast, probably like this, this like April, I would think the coast will stay good through about April. Um, the one thing I might do too is I might go sneak back one more time and go get some trout up at Jocassi and just like not even bass fish straight troll two days for like 12 hours troll for trout see how many I could put in the boat that I don't know sounds kind of fun I just love the taste of trout um I don't know I might even put a poll up and be like what do you guys want to see would you rather see a striper catch and cook or would you rather see me go back up to Jocassi and catch trout you know I don't know um, and then we might just base it off of that. Not that we won't do both, but my window for the trout fishing is closing because as it gets warmer, the trout start going deeper. And, um, and it's just, I don't have like the downriggers and stuff like that to get after. Right now, like last time I was catching them probably in about like 15 to 20 feet of water. So like, especially with the, like the cold front moving through this weekend, the trout will still stay in that range. Um, so I can still fish for them. But like I said, that window will probably be closed by the end of the month. Um, so if I want to do that, I need to do that ASAP. The same kind of thing with like um, the coast. Right now, a lot of people are getting like grand slams down at the coast. They're getting spots, they're getting trout, they're getting the uh, flounder all in day. But once it starts getting hot, hot, it seems like the, the redfish fishing starts to slow down a bit. Um, don't know if, uh, the, I know the trout fishing slows down. It's kind of like regular trout. When, uh, when it gets hot, the trout just, all trout seem to just kind of get lazy and it's just a little bit more difficult to fish for them. So, um, like April right now should be bomb. So I need to get out. Oh, you say I need to get my sorry rear out and fill. That's really all it comes down to. So why don't you get some planer boards? Dude, actually, I do want to try that. I've got the boat for it and I could do that now. I just haven't done it yet. Um, that is something though. I think I'm probably going to put some effort and some money into this fall when the striper, when, you know, I don't know, like, like November or something like that, when they start catching the striper on the surfaces and stuff like that. I mean, they're catching them now, but, um, 
I've just got so many other things going on. Um, I'd like to get like a couple more uh, striper rods, like for, specifically for that. I only have two like specific striper rods, the ones I've got here now. Um, but I do want to try the planer board thing. Um, uh, I, so that is something I'm like, I've got the boat now. We could totally do that. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely give that a go. So I just, I think I just saw, I just saw something hit the surface up here, but it wasn't, the, the, the striper seemed to hit the surface and it's like a cannonball, like, like big splash. It wasn't a big splash. So maybe, maybe it was a gar. About that time of year to start catching gar too. A couple of fish suspended right there at about 20 feet. Just keeping an eye on the surface of the water, making sure I'm not missing any schooling fish around us. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Look at, I mean, look at it. You guys can see it. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, man. Wish the fish were acting a little bit better, but that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Oh, here comes the rain. Sprinkling a little bit. Definitely not enough to chase us off. Well, there is a tad bit of rain coming down. Haven't heard any thunder. With that, that uh, rain or not? See now, I told I should have brought a crappy rod. What was I thinking, man? Actually, I was thinking that the striper bite was going to be so hot we wouldn't have time for crappy fish. That's what I thought. But of course, gotta go, man. Keep up the good work, sir. Love the videos. Jason Godfrey donates another ten dollars. Dude, Jason, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Be watching out. If you like my bee content, I'll have a new bee video probably tomorrow on my second channel, High Adventure Videos 2. I'm kind of, I'm genuinely curious to see like how many people enjoy the bee videos. Uh, and I'm working hard on the bee videos to try to make them like interesting in the sense of like getting good like up close shots and stuff like that, not just like generic, like, hey, here's the hive, you know. Like I'm working hard to film it correctly. In fact, I got some more stuff coming to help film it correctly or better I'm hoping good clear up close shots of the ladies um but uh yeah anyway if you look at that check that out ah there's some thunder right there that was probably gonna do it because I guarantee you that came from that cloud and uh the rain is starting to pick up a little bit and I don't want these two massive you know striper rods sticking up in the air Probably not the smartest thing to do, you know, because I could tell right now I'm about to get dumped on. <sighs> Dang it, man. I didn't want to end it. I don't want to end it so soon. We still have like an hour and a half to go. Or at least an hour. There we go. We caught two fish. We didn't get skunked, okay? We had an epic fight with a catfish. That was pretty cool, but alas and alad, it definitely wasn't the fish that I was hoping. What I'm gonna do though, hmm, I'm gonna go down to the coast and see what the fishing's like down there. Oh snap, that was really loud. I'm gonna go down to the coast, see what the fishing's like down there. If it's awesome, I think the next live stream will be down at the coast. I probably better get going though. Y'all have a great Friday tomorrow. I'm not gonna die out here today on the lake, so I'm gonna pack it in. Have, remember, I just put a video out today, so go check it out if you haven't already. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We better go. Fast sign out.